at this opportunity to inaugurate the board and wish you the best success. The 10 members inaugurated on the NSSF board include Dr. Peter Kimboa from the private sector as the chairman, four members representing trade unions, two representing employers, one from the Ministry of Gender, one from Ministry of Finance, and two representing employers through the Federation of Uganda Employers. I have developed all the confidence in you. Work out, build where you have found the board, the, the board the fund, sorry, and uh, we have a very vibrant uh, institution, which, as I've told you, it's a basket of money where I can go to borrow. Instead of going to borrow outside the country, I borrow from here because there is th those funds are around. And our money begins to circulate around, and when it circulates around, it even now grows big and bigger. The beneficiaries, you get better and better uh, returns. Minister Kasaija wants the new board to reshape the fund's investment portfolio to match the current digital advancement. Together with management, I have confidence that you will able to execute this mandate over the next three years. Now, as I told you, this fund is a basket of Uganda where people have saved money for taking for when they retire. The incoming board chair, Dr. Peter Kimboa, has replaced Patrick Biabakama Kaberenge and commits to leverage on technology and innovation to better serve members and ensure the right culture to make the fund fit for purpose. Yeah, in the post pandemic era at the cusp of the fifth industrial revolution, where artificial intelligence data and analytics and the internet of things and what today we call the artificial intelligence of things has become part of our daily professional lives. The new board comes at a time of providing leadership while exploiting the NSSF Act of 2019 which is still under review governing the mid-term acquisition of savings by the beneficiaries. They would like a retirement product which is what we offer but they also would like a mid-term access product. They would like to care for things like fees, they would like to care for things like medical, they would like to care for things like housing. We can't do those things now, but we know our customers want them. We are very sure that once this law comes, we'll be able to provide them. So the board that you've given us, Honorable Minister, will be so instrumental in innovation. Currently, NSSF manages assets worth 15.4 trillion shillings invested in fixed income, equities, and real estates within East Africa region. Abdul Nasir Lugama for UBC News.